Pete, can you tell me your emotions at the moment? Yeah, uh, jumbled, uh, excited. That was a roller coaster of a day. Um, the uh, it was just so much fun from the morning to kick off, and then all I wanted was the kind of result that we needed today to make everybody's effort, not just today, but the whole season worth it. Uh, you know, going to the last match, we're still in it. Uh, 80 points. We had the biggest day of the year this so far, 9,000 plus. Terrace was rocking. Uh, 100 and something Spanish uh, supporters that came over from Spain and they were just, uh, they're phenomenal. They're still over there waving flags and singing. It was, uh, it was the kind of day we needed. It was the kind of day that really is uh, pretty indicative of what we've been doing. This, this was a big ass party that Wickham won. Hmm. Can you tell me in words that I can print how much it would mean you to get another home game here in the playoffs? Uh, I expect one. You really are that confident? Yes. Well, you know, you yeah, might. Not, let me tell you this, man. We're in the playoffs. Nobody, nobody wants to play Wickham in the playoffs. I can promise you that. Now, the league table obviously looks much better now than it did this morning. I didn't look at it. You didn't look at it? Nope. Don't you must care. Be the only Wickham fan that I, I, I guarantee I am because my expectation we get to 83 points and I don't give a shit what anybody else does. Because if we get to 83, we're in them. And if we get in them, we're winning them. I, I think it's fair to say that in playoffs, the team with most playoff experience has an advantage rather than form. Do you feel that will benefit Wickham? I just think, yeah, I just know Wickham and I know how strong we are when it's time to fight. And I know how much, how together we are. And uh, when it is extremely tight circumstances like that, uh, this type of environment is the one that thrives. How much have you enjoyed this roller coaster ride of a football season in this strange culture? Well, I, I could have gone without the low end in February because then we'd just be celebrating automatic promotion right now. But uh, League One is extremely difficult. Everybody who's made it up to the top has had a little bit of a bump uh, in the road. Rotherham is experiencing one recently. Um, it's not an easy league. I would say it's probably the best competition in the world this year, top to bottom. Um, for sure, normally the championship is like that, but this year, League One, uh, man, massive clubs uh, that are in this league and then small clubs that have learned how to do more with less, like us. Um, makes for an interesting competition.